Hello everyone, this is CypherDeck, and today we're going to be talking about Monsters and Memories. If you haven't heard about this, it is a new MMO that's being worked on by a group that is led by a previous developer of EverQuest, and it is looking to be a pretty interesting game and has some pretty cool ideas behind it so there are a lot of classes in the game i think there are 18 um there are several races as well but during the the stress test that's going to be happening on friday you're only gonna see uh three uh races which is over human and gnome the classes are all there available to play but they're at different states of uh completion i don't think any of them are fully complete but there are some that have more things available to them than others like currently the elementalist has the most abilities added to it at um 97 abilities most of those, I'm guessing, are going to be variants of pets, fire, water, ice, and earth kind of pets, which you'll probably get different versions of those pets like you do with the mage and EverQuest. So that's what I'm expecting there. Necromancer is also pretty high with 63, which they said the difference that they're going to do with the Necromancer is they're wanting to have the Necromancer have different types of pets. So instead of having a skeleton all the way up to 59, like in EverQuest, and then you get your Spectre, they're probably going to be doing something more along the lines of World of Warcraft, where it's going to be different types of pets. Caster pets, maybe. Pets that do different things. You, uh, I believe they said they'll also have Charm, which will probably be undead specifically, that kind of thing. But when you get in, you, you choose a class and it will have some sort of completion to it. So you can test it out. If you're expecting a fully fleshed out game whenever you go into it, like they're, like they're at a point where they're ready to ship like once the testing is over, then you're sorely mistaken. I believe there are a lot of zones that are, that are not added into the game yet. There's a lot of races that aren't completed as well. Um, one of the cool things that I saw is that when you get a backpack, you'll visibly see the backpack. If you get pouches, you'll visibly see the pouches, that kind of thing, which seems like a really cool idea which means that your actual starting inventory is going to be pretty small <laughs> compared compared to something like EverQuest where you start with eight slots and then you can put a bag in each slot, that kind of thing. I don't know if that's how it's going to be. Maybe you'll have uh, small satchels like in Ultima Online, you have bags, uh, you have small containers, that, that carry a small amount of materials where you have your large uh, pack that carries like a large amount of materials, that kind of thing. But yeah, so don't expect it to be fully fleshed out, but they, for what you were going to be able to play, um, they do have a good portion of uh, the newbie area. I think there might be a, a dungeon close by uh, where you'll be able to group up and and test your skills. I think uh, they have uh, some quests in the game. I think actually whenever they were streaming the other day, they had um, a quest that led to getting a, a pretty cool designed t-shirt or shirt of some sort. So, yeah, it, it looks like it's going to be enjoyable. It is kind of on the EverQuest side of leveling, meaning that it's a little bit slower 
uh, the mobs are gonna hurt early on <laughs> you may you may find a decaying skeleton type situation where you are within one or two hits of dying before you kill it if you kill it at all <laughs> kind of thing so it, it's gonna be pretty interesting i'm i'm really excited just to get in and touch the game i mean look at um pantheon i hate to bring up pantheon but I've been invested in that game for so long, and I've yet to be able to touch the game. At least in a game like Star Citizen, it may be buggy as all get out, but I've been able to get into the game and touch the game and see like how beautiful a game that can be. Where um, here I am, what, five years <laughs> later, and I still haven't been able to get into um get into that game so yeah at least we get to touch this game uh early early on in the process and uh get to see where it is where it's going definitely check out the discord i'm going to link that in the description below uh also check out um the uh uh it's called the n n m playtest info and that's how you'll be able to sign up to be a part of the playtest and also get the download so that you can be ready to go tomorrow at 8 p.m central time or today depending on whenever i post this uh either way you're gonna have ample time to to get <laughs> the download done and get into the game Anyway, guys, this is Cypher Deck. Hopefully you enjoyed, and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.